Hey guys, so in this video we are restoring the rear axle. So here we have the rear axle. I'm currently sanding it all down. That's one side done. And I still obviously have to do this side. But that's what it looks like before I go near it. So it is all rusted. It's only surface rust. There's no actual rust gone penetrating down into it. And I'm going to clean all of this down and then hammerite paint it. Okay guys, so that's now the whole beam sanded down. And that's the hammerite paint about to go on. Brilliant, so that's now the whole rear axle all painted. Two new calipers on, discs on, everything's on. So of course I'm going four by 100, so that's four by 100. These are Mark IV Golf uh, brakes and pads. I think they're actually out of a Seat Leon or something like that. And just by chance they're green. So the main difference is how, what they do. So. These ones apparently won't seize, that if you leave the car parked for a long period of time, say like over winter and then you drive it again in the spring, there's less chance of the rear axle or the rear pistons seizing. Doesn't mean they won't, just a lesser chance. And apparently this is a better upgrade and everything. So how do you make them, um, how do you make the Mark IV attached to the, say the Mark II or the Corrado? And it's these Goodridge hoses. Good ridge hoses. So they have a Mark II fitting at this end and the Mark IV bandage joint at this end. So they're, I think they're 25 euros each or 50 quid off eBay. The cable itself, I'm using the Mark IV golf cable. So that's the cable down there. The ball's just falling out of it, that's all. And so I'm using the correct cable. So that's a Mark IV golf cable or See it, the on cable, I think it is. And this is the brake equalizer, brake bias valve. Big thank you to Trevor for sponsoring me and giving me this. Um, yeah, so on the mark of the very early Corrado, so that's the 89, it had only three of these fittings. So it was like one line came in from the front and then it split left and right. So this one, there's two lines coming in. So you've doubled the pressure coming in and then obviously this one here will do uh, the left side, and then this one here will do the right side. But thanks, for, thanks to Trevor for that. I have to get new pipes all made up. Yeah, I'm going to make them in copper and run them all the way down. So that's the brake line. They obviously just stop here. I'm not going to make them. I'm going to wait till the rear axle is actually bolted to the car. And I'm going to take them from here. They'll probably run down this way, over this way. And I'm going to keep them maybe either tight in here or tight this side. So when the rear axle is going up and down, there's less chance of it getting crushed. So yeah, probably either come in this way or come in tight this way and then just at the last second loop around and up in here. All right, that's basically the whole rear axle now painted, rebuilt, ready to go. So guys, that's now the rear axle now finished. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. And if you can, sponsor me. The link is in the description below. See you next time.